Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how can we make the beautiful Iris Power classification app using Streamlit. So in this tutorial, you will learn some basic introduction to Streamlit library and then we will explore it with some basic examples and finally I will demonstrate to you about this uh, Iris classification app and then all the relevant details will be available in the description below so before wasting any time let's get started so what is streamlit so streamlit is a library uh, open source framework by which you can make uh, beautiful machine learning data driven apps and it is all in this pure python language it's really simple and easy and let me show you some cool stuff using streamlit c face scan explorer and there are some other interesting projects made by open source community here as well you can explore it now let's do a basic uh, example of this streamlit let's see what happens let me just copy this Core. and you can really find many useful interesting features in this documentation it's really comprehensive it's really easy okay now let's go to my demo.py file okay let's remove this code and start it again let's see what happens here i have just imported the streamer library then any particular number is initialized in this x variable and here stream with dot right says x square is this let's see what happens save it now here in your terminal or command prompt, what you need to do is you need to write stream with run and name of your python file which is demo dot by in my case okay yes so here it printed 10 square is 100. Okay. Now let's use something else from the documentation. Uh, uh, let's use this widget. <clears throat> okay, keep it this code and let's see what happens now. Now, uh, again, you don't need to do this stuff because if you can go here in the web browser tab it says that source file is changed the stream it detected that there has been some modification in your file so what you can do is you can click this always read on and here we have the slider if we can change the values in the slider we can observe the operation in it like here we have 12 square 144 okay it's really easy to make stuff using Streamlit. Now let's jump back to our project demo, which is Iris classification. Let me just show you the product demo and then I will explain you the code line by line. Streamlit run iris underscore app dot run, 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 run. There it is here it is okay so in the left you can see the features of virus flower species okay and it is sepal length sepal width for uh, petal length and petal length we have four features and this is a uh, default values i have uh, wrote in the python code let's classify it so here it is predicting versi color species okay so here we have three basic uh, species in our iris classification task and here you can see that the versi colors uh, sepal and petal width is uh, pretty much larger than these two classification okay let's change it let's try to decrease these sepal and width length <coughs> excuse me let's see what happens Okay, right. Now it predicted uh, Setosa. 
now I will also share the link of this by implementing uh, it in the Heroku app and you can play with this around okay where is the code here is the code okay so here some libraries are imported okay and uh, here I have loaded a model now here I'm using KNN classifier model which I trained in a in the tutorial series here it is in this tutorial series which I am working since last week uh, you can find this tutorial series from the very beginning scratch to get familiar how to work on a machine learning project uh, in the description below okay and all the source code will be available on the uh, github account as well so don't worry about it let's continue okay, here I printed the iris power species classification app title then we have loaded some images and uh, here features is printed in the sidebar as you can see here this whole stuff and then you have initialized the parameter list and default values is okay now here I have used the for loop now instead of writing the sidebar line four times uh, we can execute it in a very efficient way using for loop and now finally here we have this button and uh, in this particular line this function dot predict gives us the prediction value and the very last line where we are printing the image this is how you write one line code in python to check three conditions so if prediction is equal to zero which is setosa it will print setosa then it will check this condition and it will print versi color and so on okay so this was it from my side in this tutorial see you in the next tutorial stay safe see you in the next tutorial bye bye